Hey guys, uh, Dustin Petty here with Flipping the Beast and uh, DMAT Construction Design. Getting ready to do another epoxy project. I don't know if you're, anybody's getting tired of these, but I'm not. They're a lot of fun. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. Once again, it is uh, another kickback board. I said I'm going to be doing a series of these, four of them total. So let me show you what my last one has turned out like. Um, it's not quite done. I just got the finished coat on it tonight, but it turned out pretty neat. A few things that I would have liked to have changed on it, but um, in general, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. Now, these are some way overly done soccer tools. Just gives me a chance to uh, practice this. Hey, Rob. Thanks for joining, Max. Um, and uh, Rabala, thank you. Now this one is going to be same design, like I said, but the colors are gonna be a lot different. So we're gonna do black and all these different reds. If you'd like to see me do something specifically, um, hey, just comment, on, uh, comment below. I'll see if I actually see it while I'm doing this because I'm gonna be working pretty fast. But uh, I'll try to add in what you're what you're uh, wanting to see, and uh, if I like it anyway. If I don't like it, then I probably won't add it in there. But I didn't say that. So anyway, uh, going back here. So these are all the colors of reds. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but we got a uh, claret wine, colonial red, apple red, cranberry. Got some real orange. Some, uh, what is that, summer squash. And then this is isopropyl alcohol with a metallic black. This is isopropyl alcohol with a metallic gold. And then I have my black over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This process, uh, this video is going to be about 45 minutes long, just a heads up. If you get bored, you can uh, jump out, join back in later. Or... I generally make a shortened video, and you can check all of my shorter videos out on my YouTube page, which is finally up and going. Um, just search for Flipping the Beast, and you should be able to find my page. Hey, and if you like what I do, please subscribe, like my videos, follow me on Instagram. Pretty much everything is uh, at Flipping the Beast, so pretty easy to find. We're going to start off with this. Claret wine. Might help if I shake it. Now, I also have all of these other pigments over here. Um, I've only used the Shiraz, so I don't know exactly what the color, other colors are going to look like. Uh, hey, Gary, Brian, Eric, Joe, Alicia, Victoria, um, Ubong, Matt, Max again. Hey, if I butcher your name, I apologize. I'm trying to read quickly and knock this out. So what I'm using right now is a Rust-Oleum paint to grab my tint. Now they make specific tints for epoxy, but um, through all my research and playing around, I found out that Rust-Oleum doesn't react the same way that other paints do as far as... Um, messing with the cure if you use any other type from what i've seen other than rust-oleum the epoxy will not cure correctly and you're going to end up with tacky spots now you notice i'm not wearing protective uh gear and i do not have ventilation i do not recommend it um just means that i'm probably going to have an early grave I was looking for my ventilation mask this or today, and uh, I just finished up a concrete project about a week ago. And man, I I just I don't know what I did with it. So we're going without it today. All right, so I've got some clear here. We're just gonna pour this clear on here. No specific rhyme or reason. Just gonna get some depth on here. Just gonna drop it on there. Um, rub the 
this around a little bit. So I have an idea in my head on what I'm actually going to be doing. Hey, Calvin, Sheila. I'm not going to get used to that last name for a while, Sheila. Just to let you know. Octavian. So all I'm doing here, like I said, is getting a little base. It'll allow my colors to flow a little bit better. Um, I mixed up a lot of epoxy, but I think I might have distributed it a little incorrectly in my cups, so I may have to mix up a little bit more, just being honest. So what I've been learning doing all these projects one after another is the looks that I like anyway are achieved better when I layer things. So I've already got a black base. I want a little bit more black. Just in this little area right here. And this side over here, these little things, they're gonna stick off the back. So I'm not even gonna worry about them right now because I'm gonna pull my design off of this for that black or for those edges. Mix up this line, get some craziness going in here. All right. And like I said, layering is kind of what I'm going for with this. This is going to turn out anything like what's in my head, but by golly, we're going to try. I usually go for a kind of a realistic look. I don't think this one's going to be as realistic, but that's okay. Just want to get this red down. Octavian. Hey, Karen. Thanks for joining in. Jeff. Sheila, we are wanting to do out our basement floors in epoxy, so I enjoy watching you work. Well, thank you. I'm glad somebody enjoys watching me. <laughs> um, floor epoxy is going to be a little bit different than what I do, but, I mean, it's all epoxy. It's just uh, what you're going for is probably a different look than what I'm going for, and you're not going to be crawling around on your hands and knees playing in the playing in the epoxy or maybe you will I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know all right yep yeah, we're getting there it's already doing what I have in mind and I haven't even started yet this is cool So like I said with, I've said before in these videos, I apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I am holding this by myself and videoing by myself. So, um, 
Sometimes it gets a little shaky, and I apologize for that. Up front. Hey, Michael, Isaac, Greg, Cassie, hey. Welcome. Bow, 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 bow. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol on there. That was the gold. Add a little bit of black. I said layers, layers, all about layers. All right. Adding this red in here. A little bit different color of red. I want a lot of red. And then if I need to soften that red, I'll soften it. But I'm really wanting more red than what I'm getting right now. One thing great, so I'm down in Florida, Tampa, Florida. Go Rays. And uh, finally started cooling off down here. So that has given me some crazy work times. I was getting a pot life of about 20 minutes. Uh, pot life is how long the epoxy is actually workable. And now I'm all the way out to about 35 minutes, which is great. Just great. Just blending different colors in here right now. Dun, dun, dun. Like I said earlier, guys, hey, if you want to see me do something specific on here you think would look cool, just let me know. Put it in the comments. And I'll see if it... uh ties in with what's in my mind on this project. Hey Cody, Jeremy, Lisa, my wife's even watching, wow, that's crazy. Some blending and all of this. There we go. Kind of started learning that, uh, you got to let the epoxy do what it wants to do. It's never truly going to turn out the way that the way that you have in your mind, but you kind of feel each work, each piece of art. Let them kind of do what they want to do. Hey, Kenny, thanks for joining in, my man.
Hey Russ, Jillian, thanks for taking a look at this. I appreciate it. Um, I've said a little bit earlier, if you guys want to see me try something specific in this piece, just uh, leave it in the comments. And I'll see if it kind of goes with my idea on this. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to wait until I kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing now, so I'm going to go ahead and get these started over here. little pieces just do not want to stay still Ten bucks to anybody that can uh, tell me where I'm getting my uh, my motivation for this piece. What does it look like? I'm not actually going to give you ten dollars. Anybody? Nobody? Hey Russ, thank you man, I appreciate that. We're starting to get there. Sorry, when I go quiet, I'm thinking. <laughs> A Christmas tree. You are so close, John. Thanks for playing though. I appreciate that. <laughs> Ow, finger painting fun. Um, it is pretty fun. That might be why I enjoy this so much. Takes me back to my childhood. Keep drifting off into no, no man's land with that camera. Sorry about it. Whew, that's a lot of red. It's the final countdown. Do 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 do. It's one of my daughter's favorite songs right now. I think it was from Angry Birds or something. I'm not sure. But it is stuck in my head. I'm sure I'm the only one that ever has to deal with that. With children. I'm going to 
relabel this as finger painting fun. Oh, lost my light. Oh, I really can't see. Okay, just a second. That's what happens when you have motion sensors in your garage. And you have the motion sensors covered. Oops. All right, let's get some separation. And that... hands real quick so I can actually grab this can of paint. Still no, no guesses. Hey, Derek, Aaron, Dennis, thanks for joining in. I got a little uh, proposition on the table right now. I need someone to jump out and uh, say what it is actually I'm taking this design from. What is it starting to look like? Still do not like that. So we're gonna get a little bit more black in here. And I am just gonna mess this all up. Right like that. I'm gonna jump in here. I'll move it around with my hands a little bit. I'm gonna see what happens to this. Messing with my layers. Messing with my layers. May have to mix up some more black. Gently mix this up now. And a little bit of blending. Hey, Adrian, buddy. Thanks for joining in, man. All right. Let's see. There's my black.
thought you were making a chocolate board. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm following that, but it's making me laugh, so thank you. Adrian, not much, buddy. Miss you guys. Wish I was back out there in San Diego still. So I don't know if you've noticed, every time I spray that isopropyl alcohol on here, it uh, reacts with whatever's on the surface there. Pushes it apart, this, this kind of design, and kind of gives me a very unique look. So one thing that I like to do to change it up whenever I start getting kind of pronounced lines like this, I'll take a can of paint. Spray it on here, right? Cause I'm still wanting this to be a little bit different. And I always run into the issue of when do you stop? When do you stop messing with it? and just say, oh, it's good. But I think I'm getting a little spoiled here in this uh, Florida winter. Um, with the amount of time that I have for workability now, it is making me think I can just do a little bit more, a little bit more here. A little bit more there. Change that up a little bit. Hey Karen, thanks for joining in. Raul, hey Shirley. Merry Christmas. Any guesses yet on what I'm doing? Anybody still with me? I bore everybody. Too much talking, right? this up a little bit and see see where we're at
So there's definitely a lot more black than I originally wanted in this. Um, but that's just what I went with. So... I know these sides aren't following the exactly with what I had going on the, the main piece. But they still tie in a little bit. So this flame helps to heat up the top surface and release air bubbles. But if you notice, it also kind of moves around the top layer. If I leave it on an area, it can create some more separation. You can also use a heat gun. stop when you run out of epoxy well that is the case normally buddy but i mixed up <clears throat> way more than i needed on this project um just because i always run out before i think i'm done so i'm gonna put a little bit of extra here on the sides makes my final coat a little bit easier so I will be sanding this down um, and for those of you that didn't see it uh, earlier on in the the video this is the last kickboard that I did um, this one I was going for a blue granite going for a stone look on here <clears throat> not quite as realistic as I wanted but it uh, definitely, it turned out decent. Hey, Anita, uh, Vladimir, Kristen, Jace, Michael, Susan, Patrick, Brian. Hey, thanks, guys, for uh, checking this out. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is what it's going to look like at the end. It'll have my logo there, a little advertisement on the side. If you didn't know, we buy houses. Hey, Mike. So this is where I'm at with this new one. I've never done reds before. And you know what, you guys? I, I think I might spritz it a couple more times with this. Uh, get a little bit more shimmer in there. So this spray that I'm using, if you haven't didn't hear me earlier, it's isopropyl alcohol mixed with different types of mica powder. You hear other people just call them metallic powder. These are all different types of mica. Holy jeez, Mike, holy jeez. All right, so I think I'm gonna spray this or uh, hit this with the flame one more time. Just a second. Get a little bit more movement. Oop, a little too much. Let me get a little bit more movement in this uh, top layer. Get these separated out. There we go. Now we're getting there. So this thing is going to be shiny when it's done. I don't even know if you'll be able to see the color with as much metallic as I have in that clear coat. There we go, get some separation. Burn it a little bit. 
Get all them bubbles out of there. Now you can really see that gold on that angle. All right, so since nobody answered my question, um, what I was going for is, I don't know if you've seen pictures of galaxies or space where there's a really bright red background with black going through it. Sometimes you can see stars and other galaxies all the way out through it. That's kind of what I was going for with this. Not exactly what I had in mind, but pretty dang close. Oh! Sorry, I got a wet epoxy on my torch. Um, what am I doing with them? These are uh, kickback boards for soccer. So I, I coach my, my daughter's soccer team. And... These are a little tool to help her team and herself with um, footwork. I'm just putting a lot more work into it. They just need to, they honestly just need to be wood with a little bit of paint on them to seal them. But I kind of try to take every advantage as I can to uh, get a little bit better at this craft. So here we go, guys. I think this is it. Uh, hey, uh, Guillermo, what's up, buddy? Um, Steve and Pablo, thanks for joining in, guys. So here's where we're at. Um, really shiny. A lot of metallic on the surface. You know what? That's too much metallic. I thought I was done, but I'm not done. I'm going to mix this metallic up real quick, at least in this black. Hey, Kelly. Thanks for joining in. So as this cures, it's going to blend out a little bit more. So this little mess that I'm doing right now won't quite look like the mess that it is. It should uh, continue to separate a little bit and create some really neat effects. Trying to touch all of it. What's up, Guillermo? Thanks for joining in, buddy. Miss you guys. When do I come back to SD? I don't know, man. I was there a few times earlier in the year, but as far as moving back, we're not quite ready yet. Maybe we'll get there eventually. I appreciate appreciate you all hanging out for so long. This has been uh, quite a few people logging in and checking me out for a little while. I appreciate that. 
I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, like I said earlier, I do have my YouTube channel up and running now. Uh, check it out. It's called Flipping the Beast. Right now, it's pretty much all epoxy work, but I will be having videos up of our last flips. And some of my concrete work that I do as well. And I actually am inspired, have been inspired recently to pick up a new craft. And I'm going to start making, uh, doing some metal work. Really cool stuff. At least I think it is. It's all in my head right now. Um, so you get to see a few, a few fails before I get good at it. All right, I am super happy with that now. All right, so here, here we go. Nope, oh, my phone's doing something weird. Hey Scott, Eric, thanks for joining in guys. So once this finally does a final cure, we're gonna get a lot of deep black shimmer in this center area. And it's gonna be the bright red on the side, so. These are kickback boards. They're all gonna stand up and uh, the finished product will look clean like this. And like I said, these are just going for my soccer team. Nothing special, just a, a nice chance for me to get a little bit better at this. But hey guys, definitely check out my YouTube channel. Look at some of my videos, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, all that good jazz, and uh, leave comments if you guys want to see me do a specific type of project, concrete, epoxy, metalwork, anything. Um, just let me know, and I will try to add it into my schedule. So anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, slowly, I will have my garage a little bit cleaner in the future, and who knows, Maybe I'll have a bigger shop eventually. Anyway, guys, peace out. Thanks.